Good morning. Good morning. How are you? It is New Stuff Tuesday. Got lots of new stuff to tell you about. Uh, got rain in the forecast. Uh, and it's, it's supposed to move out of here by about one o'clock today and uh, and be nicer. But uh, right now it's just kind of dismal, just kind of dismal, nasty out. So be careful if you're driving and uh, it feels colder when it's wet. So stay warm and uh, wear your waterproof shoes. Y'all, I found some that look like they're the cutest things. They're the, they're so ugly. They're cute. They look like duck feet almost, but they're waterproof shoes with a fleece lining, and they're kind of made out of plastic, like Crocs with no holes. Oh, I just have to get me some. I just I said I downloaded a new app just to see if I could find them. <laughs> and of course, they're made in China, so they don't have my big girl size. But I'm holding out hope. I'm holding out hope. <laughs> Hey, there's a lot of new stuff to talk about. I just saw a new Western series called The English. It was on, uh, I watched it on Netflix. It's brand new. Uh, no, 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 no. It was on Prime Video, Prime Video. And it's called The English. I wanted you to see a little bit of the clip of that. It was fantastic. My son, he is dead. And up on Powder River. There is a man trying to forget that he ever existed. So I'm going to go up there to remind him. Don't expect me to care for one boy. Help me. Please. Can you shoot? If I have to. Oh, you'll have to. My people lived here over 2,000 years. White folk come like locusts, hopping over each other's back to steal land. I just need a few acres. Right? Revenge. You ain't the only one. We're looking for David Melmond. Ain't exactly looking to be found, ma'am. The woman you're traveling with, maybe it's best for you to see the world as it really is. Us. Them. I got a knack for survival. Christ country. You gonna win? You can't fight fair. You wanna have some fun? Quite the woman I expected. <laughs> the only story I can tell is mine. You ain't here but a moment. None of us. One day, you'll go home. Home is here. With you. How we met. Why we met. <laughs> it was in the stars. Powerful. I'm just going to tell you the scenery, the cinematography is great. It's done by the BBC. And it's sometimes the BBC stuff is a little heady for me. I'm just be honest. You know, I'm, I'm, it's a little mass, you know, what is it? The, the, the master's playhouse or whatever. It's a little bit too British for me, but not this. It was so, so well done. Well, not that the others aren't, but it was accessible for me. I'm just going to be honest. So I'm giving it two thumbs up. And if you get a chance to see it on Prime Video, do. It's called The British. My friend Michelle Probst, beautyworthbeautyco.com. You can find out, follow them because they have the best team of people finding new stuff for beauty. 
In fact, she's got something for us now to reduce the pores in our skin to what, you know, as you get older, aging, whatever, your pores look like, well, you can see them from, you know, a long way away. <laughs> you know, your pores get bigger as you get older. So she's got something, a new product that will help you with that. Have you ever noticed how your pores are getting larger and your skin is just not as smooth and clean as you'd like for it to be? This is a game-changing utensil. This is Dermapore from Dermaflash. And it's so easy to use. You wanna use clean skin and it literally, you press the button and it goes on and it will use it on moist or lotion skin and it will remove the pores. It will unclog immediately it also smooths out the skin and you can also use whatever skincare you're using and apply it to the flip side and it will help penetrate and smooth and hydrate and tighten your skin immediately. I think you should get it. I love Michelle Probst. Go to Worth Beauty Co. You can find them on Instagram. You can find them on Facebook. You can go to their website. You can join and follow. And they always have great freebies to give away too. So go there. You'll learn a lot. And they've got great products to talk about. Hey, we're going to talk about the Donaldson Hermitage Chamber this weekend. They've got the Holiday Market and the Holiday Market at the mansion. It is going to take place at Two Rivers Mansion, 9 to 4, Saturday and Sunday. Here's a trip through memory lane. We're going to throw back to last year. What was it like? We'll take a look. Hi! And and we, we created CC. We, we've been playing cornhole. She just wiped the floor up with me. But I'm getting better at cornhole. I'm getting better. And these amazing, look at the artwork. I love these flags. Love these flags. They're amazing. Business Mad Joe Roasters. When did you start it? Oh, about a year ago. Uh huh. Um, it was during the pandemic, uh, my wife and I started it. Very cool. So, Very cool. Now, you also have K cups, which is what I absolutely love. You have the K cups that you do, but you roast the, the, the beans yourself. And do you deliver? Yes. Yeah, so if you go to our website or our Facebook page, it's got the link uh, to our Square store. Uh -huh. um, and you can put a delivery order in there. So we deliver, I want to say, 60 miles around Hermitage. Uh, so okay. it pretty much covers all of Nashville. Do you do shipping as well? Uh, we can ship in state. Uh -huh. um, can't ship out of state. Very, very cool. And and you take a look, and, and there's Ethiopia, Nicaragua. Ethiopia is my favorite. We've got so much fun. So, yeah, yeah, it was we always roasted coffee, um, and then I found a uh, air roaster for relatively cheap and picked mm -hmm. it up, and, and we just started roasting coffee and selling it. And now I've got three roasters, and uh, we probably sell 150 bags a week. That's amazing. It's Jean's Happy Strings. There's Jean. Hi. We're live on Facebook and it's handmade guitar string jewelry and more. Isn't this amazing? It's a good day to have a happy day. Choose happy. This is one of the most impressive ones. Everybody sees it built on the rock. Look at these beautiful pieces. Aren't those amazing? built on the rockdriftwood.com. Now this table, everybody is freaking out, but I don't blame them. It's the most beautiful. We are live on Facebook. And I said, this is the, I, I, last year I fell in love with your work and what what you build is, is unbelievable. Well, thank you so much for that. I appreciate the compliment. I enjoy the work that I do all the way from the riverbank to this bank. And so we're, are, are you based out of Middle Tennessee? Absolutely. I live right here in Donaldson. No kidding. Yeah, What's your a name? Of, a lot of the uh, pieces that you see here are recovered right on Old Hickory Lake and, and the, our own Cumberland River. For sure. Oh my gosh. It's all Middle America Driftwood. Middle America Driftwood. And so like, a lot of people think that the Driftwood and you have to be on the ocean or on the Gulf, but no, that's not I, true I at all. Before it gets to the ocean. There you go. There you go. Mill Creek Mercantile. And it is a place that is so Christmas. Hey, what are you doing for Christmas this year? Are you... The shop is all decked out and, and we are ready for visitors. So... And tell people where you are so that, because you guys, if you have not seen Lori's shop, it's just unbelievable. Okay, so we're at 205 McGowan Street. 
McGavick Pike, which is right off of the Lebanon Road, McGavick Pike intersection. Mm -hmm. We're directly across the street from Nectar Urban Cantina. Uh, look at this. These are antique uh, uh, chandelier crystals that we have made into Christmas ornaments. They're very, some of them are very ornate. Um, these are really, really old. You can see the. Oh my gosh. They're gorgeous. They are beautiful yeah. and pieces. Those are the tips that you always do that I always go, it, it's like, it's like Pinterest, like in the real. It's like 3D <laughs> Pinterest. <laughs> Lori's got the greatest ideas and she makes it and for the hand painted furniture that you guys do and giving life right. to things. And just look at the decor. Just one five nursery and garden center. They've been a gift, uh, 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 a guest with us before. We have got Gaylord Opryland a country Christmas with the Oak Ridge Boys. Yay! Oh, yeah. Hi! Oh, yes! I love everything. And of course, the Donaldson Hermitage Chamber. Hi! It's the Donaldson Hermitage Chamber's holiday market at the mansion. It is November 18th and 19th. It's a Saturday and a Sunday with kids' activities, live music, yummy food, and a whole lot of shopping. Nine to four each day. The holiday market at the mansion. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. I had so much fun last year. That was a kind of a treat. But this year, I mean, last year, they're, they've doubled the size. I mean, they have 90 plus vendors, 90 with live music and food trucks galore. Uh, I'm going to tell you, it was a great way to spend uh, your shopping time. And it's all local. It's all local. I love the guy from, from uh, the Driftwood store. I mean, he crafts that just from stuff that he finds and the stuff is always different one of a kind unique because no piece of driftwood is is the same it's like snowflakes <laughs> melissa good to have you thank you so much do so much good getting out the good news love you Devin. love you right back melissa and we do look for good news every single day this is the positive news show uh mona love mona y'all if y'all have anything you want to advertise here or you want to talk about give mona a, a chat if you can reach her through Main Street Media, M. Bagsby at MainStreetMediaTN.com. Angie's with us today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Steve Bernie. Good to have you here. Uh, Perry Armstrong is with us from North Dakota. Bet it's freezing cold there. Tammy, I know, does it the British. Good show. Good show. I'll tell you another show I started watching, Taylor Sheridan. Let's talk a little bit about what he's got going on. Okay. Did we all watch the new season premiere? It's the the one hour, the two hour premiere of Yellowstone. It's back. And now we know that last year we had Tim McGraw and Faith Hill that were in 1883. And Taylor Sheridan has got the new one. I saw Vanity Fair had an article about it. And so we follow the characters. We follow uh, the, you know, the, that Tim and Faith played. And here's that. Well, who did they get? to take the next step in 1923. Well, <laughs> guess who it is? Helen Mirren and Harrison Ford. Yes. And they're going to be playing the leads in the sequel. I think that kind of passes for the Faith and Tim character older, don't you? I love it. I love it. And I just, the, the pictures are so dramatic. And I really look forward to seeing it. Uh, Vanity Fair has an article about that and you can see a little bit last night I got to watch the new Taylor Sheridan King of Tulsa Sly Stallone plays a mafioso gangster um, it's funny it's dark but it's wonderful and Sylvester Stallone is incredible in it plays a 75 year old who got out of prison after spending 25 years in protecting the mafiosos that he was the heavy for. And they banish him, so to speak, and give him a new territory in Tulsa, Oklahoma, from New York to Tulsa, fish out of water. It's a cool show. And uh, I've enjoyed watching it so far. The first season came out. Y'all, there's something that we need in Wilson County volunteer to be Santa's little helper. Thank you, Shelly, for letting me know about this. We need volunteers for office support, organizing toys, shop from a selection of toys for the kids and distributing gifts. 
14 years old or older. If you're interested in some service hours and you want to find out how you can be a part of this in Wilson County to be one of Santa's little helpers, you can go to uh, Division Chief Brian Fountain and you can reach him by email, Fountain, just like a water fountain, Fountain B for Brian, Fountain B at LebanonTN.org. If you'd like to be a part of that. Hey, we've got a big old Christmas parade coming up and they've got room. If you want your company to be represented, it's December 4th. City of Lebanon and the Chamber of Commerce here in Wilson County are presenting the Christmas parade. Got Christmas parades coming. And we got one coming up in Nashville. The Donaldson Hermitage Christmas Parade is December the 3rd. So the Saturday, you can be in both parades. You can do both parades. You can go Donaldson Hermitage and then you can go out to Wilson County and be in Lebanon Parade and get your get all the Christmas cheer going out and talk about your company at the same time. Oh, so much new good stuff. Well, it's time for our Daily Yummy. How about that? For that, we're going to Murray County. Chanel Frierson. I work for the CD Parks and Rec Department and today I want to introduce you with a fabulous treat that we make at home with my kids. It's called cookie lasagna. So if you're a chocolate lover, I'm pretty sure you will love this dish. First off, our ingredients are Oreo cookies, Ready Whip or Cool Whip, instant pudding, which I have already made up, and my toppings will be chocolate chip. My son loves eating those. So first off, I would like to put the cookies in the tray layer them. You can crush them up if you wish. So once I have the cookies in, I'll layer my pudding on top. And you can put as much as you need on top of the cookies and spread them. And as I said, if you are a chocolate lover, you will love this dish. So then I'll add more cookies on top to layer. And it can get really messy. So if you're doing it with your kids, this is the best dish, to, best dish to make. So then I'll add more pudding on top. And as I get that smothered in and run it through with the cookies, take your ready whip and you spray. Get that cool whip filling. Take your chocolate chips, sprinkle, and voila, you have a cookie lasagna. Now, if you like the golden Oreos, you can use the vanilla pudding for that. But until then, enjoy some chocolate loving cookie lasagna and have a happy holiday. Would you like to be part of our daily yummy? Do you have an easy recipe that we could do like that? We'll make a video of it and send it to me. Devin O'Day at gmail.com. It's time for our daily motivation. No, you know what? I'm going to do our daily giggle. I think that's so funny. And Jeff Allen really makes me laugh. He has always made me laugh. And he is a Middle Tennessee treasure, but he's national find him in his dry bar comedy special which means it's clean his dry bar comedy special is fantastic look up the fabulous comedy work of jeff allen i believe teenagers are god's revenge on mankind i really do i think i think one day the good lord was looking down over his creation and said, let's see how they like it to create someone of their own image who denies their existence. <laughs> it's his face that gets me every time. He's like, it's so funny to me. He always makes me laugh. Here's, now, this is kind of a giggle. But I also want to know, is if your cameraman runs faster than the guys that are running for the gold on the track, should the cameraman get the ribbon? This is 
I mean, that was unbelievable to me. Hey, you guys, Christmas for Kids is coming up. Do you have your tickets yet? Ryman.com is where you get them for the coolest Nashville tradition. Christmas for Kids is back at the Ryman this November 21st. Christmas for Kids provides children with shopping sprees, coats, and unforgettable experiences every year. This annual fundraising concert helps bring that experience to more kids. This year is hosted by Phil Vassar and includes Chris Young, the frontman, which is Richie McDonald, formerly of Lone Star, Larry Stewart of Restless Heart, Tim Rushlow, formerly of Little Texas, Essex County, and a whole lot more. Christmas for Kids, November 21st. To purchase tickets, go right now to Rhymes.com. All right, we're going to go to the Nashville Zoo, aren't we? It is just about to kick off. Get your tickets ahead of time, November 18th, for Zoo Illumination. This holiday season, the largest lantern event in the country returns to Nashville Zoo. After sunset, come see more than 1,000 Chinese lanterns. All new designs, including mythical beasts, a fantastical North Pole village, even a dragon soaring over your head. Welcome back to Zoo Illumination at Nashville Zoo. Bigger, brighter, and better than ever. Zoo, the NashvilleZoo.org. That's where you get your family memberships. And it is a great Christmas present for the whole family. I'm a big proponent in not more stuff, but more st- stuff to do. More experiences, less stuff. Your kids are going to remember the experiences long before they remember all this stuff. I'm just going to say it may look a little different, but to say, hey, look, maybe what if you had several little things, maybe some tickets to the Nashville Sounds, maybe some tickets to the Nashville Zoo, tickets to the Predators, tickets to see things. Maybe some of those things might be more preferable to your kid at throughout the year. Maybe there's something that you could do every month. Go to see a movie together. Do things with your kids. I think that that makes a great gift, doesn't it? Motivation time. Todd Rotermel is dear to us. He is part, he is the head Jurassicutus. I don't even know what he, he like runs the Omni Nashville. He's the dude over at the Omni, but he's also a really cool guy. And he's involved in a lot of great organizations, including our friends over at Gilda's Club. And to motivate you to get involved, here he is to tell his Gilda's Club story. A good friend of mine, um, Dan Haskell, and I used to work years ago at uh, Opryland together, and Dan was our legal counsel. And uh, Dan's son, Matt, was fortunate enough to be a survivor. And he and his son invited me to join their team at the annual September golf tournament at the Golf Club of Tennessee, and uh, which is, of course, a great golf course and a great event. I was just so impressed with the people involved, the people that actually work for Gilda's. And I told myself that, you know what, I, I need to do something to get involved with this venture. Having a, a parent and a brother who both uh, passed away due to this horrible disease, um, I see what, what Harriet and her team do for those with all of their workshops and everything they do here at uh, Gilda's Club really, really makes a difference in their lives when they're experiencing something that, you know, they've never experienced before and don't know what exactly they're supposed to do. So the support that Gilda's Club gives the family and the friends and everyone involved is really, really one of a kind program. Omni Hotels and Resorts, um, at our corporate office, we have a saying called local market leadership. And in our hotels and all of the destinations where we are, they applaud us if we get involved in something that we believe in. And being an area director of sales and marketing, I believe in Gilda's Club. That's why I'm involved in Gilda's Club. Um, I remember a specific day after I attended the golf tournament and I was speaking with some of the leadership back in 17 for Gilda's Club and 
I asked them about their banquet. Do they do a banquet? And they said, no, we've never done a banquet or a gala or a fundraiser before. So I immediately set up um, my director of catering at the time and said, we need to help these people and we need to set up an annual fundraising gala or a banquet so they can get additional income to help these families. And all of a sudden, it just took off, and we had one in 18, we had one in 19, and I know we did virtual in 20 and 21, but we're looking forward to sitting down face to face at these round tables in the ballroom at the Omni Hotel here in about a month or so. Harriet and her entire team, I just I really enjoy working with them. The board of directors are really involved with this charity and are caretakers in the community, and it's something that I really believe in it, it and it really warms my heart. I would like to strongly encourage everyone here at tonight's banquet to go out and touch somebody else, whether they're a cancer survivor or experienced it in their past, to join Gilda's Club, become a member. It really helps those in need and I just really hope that everybody here tonight will go out and find some friends and neighbors or family and introduce them to Gilda's Club and show them all the great things that Harriet and her staff do and share it and buy a team at the golf tournament next year and come and join us here at the Omni next year for another fabulous gala fundraiser. I love the work at Gilda's Club. Love, love, love it. And I love Todd for what he does, not only for that organization, but for a lot of other worthy organizations. Uh, the Omni Nashville is where we do our show, Taste of Nashville, which you can find on Main Street Media Television, our free app that you download and you can watch any of our programming, or you can go to Facebook, YouTube, and wherever we have it, you can find our Taste of Nashville shows. Um, you know, when audiobooks first came out, they were an expensive thing to buy a copy of a book on tape. It used to be books on tape, and it was a series of cassettes, and they were big and bulky, and you can get them at the library now. You can have an Audible membership like I do, and I get um, a certain amount of downloaded books every month, but new new audiobooks. I love, if I'm in a car now, if you drive across Nashville, you're in the car for an hour and a half, man, you can do a lot of good reading with your ears. Lake Bell is a comedian actress and she has a brand new book on audiobook called Inside Voices. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lake Bell. And I am a writer. I'm a director. I'm an actress. And I'm vocally obsessed. You might be like, what does that mean? Like, what do you mean you're vocally obsessed? It means I'm obsessed with the voice. In my audiobook, Inside Voice, I take my obsession to the wider world and really get to the heart of the matter. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you, I'm just curious about voices. When you hear your voice, TJ, when you give in your amazing voice. When you hear your voice, Antonio, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? Well, my impression is, is like someone professional, like a newscaster. My relationship with it has gotten a lot better. Does it sound like you think it would sound? No, it don't. I can't believe that's me. I sound different in my head. The stranger, my voice. It is very different to how I hear inside. Do you like it? Do you like the sound of your voice? I do. <laughs> I hate it. It's awful. Oh, I absolutely hate it. <laughs> Do you like the way you sound? Most people don't. But our voice is our most outward-facing trait. At the end of the day, it's all about identity. Who we are and who we strive to be. It's probably a trait that we don't really pay attention to, but maybe we should. You can buy Inside Voice wherever audiobooks are sold. So many people checking in today. Johnny Vinoker, love you so much. E.B. Elizabeth, I love it. I know. The table that uh, the Driftwood Company had, oh my gosh, so good. Don't forget, Holiday Market at the Mansion is this weekend. 13 degrees in North Dakota. Woo no, 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 Perry. Bless your heart. And Perry's also a cancer survivor, said, I wish I was in Tennessee. Hannah Dennison watching this morning. Mwah. My... My daughter from another mother. I adore her. Uh, let's see. Uh, you guys 
are so good. And Perry says, Elizabeth, my wife shares hers with her 90 year old mother in Florida. <laughs> Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, hey, you guys are wonderful and so glad that you're here. Brian Thompson, good to have you today. It's safety day here in Michigan. Most of the state has today off. We're allowing for hunters to head to the woods with hopes to bring home a trophy. Myself, I don't hunt, but still a Michigan concept. Well, you know what? If we didn't have good, responsible hunters like we do here with the TWRA, we would be overrun. So I counted 11 deer on the highway. And I would much rather them go and feed a family than to go that way and end up on the side of the road feeding other nature. I, I guess I just it's it's a lot. So we have responsible hunting. And if you're in Tennessee, TWRA, make sure that you follow the rules and they'll keep you going right. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe out there and be kind to each other because we need kindness now more than anything. And remember, most of all, you are loved. Bye. Have a great rest of your day. We are home, we are family, we are things to do and place to see. Mom and Pops, both were grown, small business Saturdays, we are Main Street, Main Street, Main Street, we are your Main Street today.